coming to you from PA Biodiesel Supply. Um, we haven't done movies in a while, but we're bringing you a couple series. This series is going to be called We Do Oil. If you're wondering why we went with that title, um, I sell centrifuge filtration equipment. I need to know what the equipment does. I need to know the questions my uh, customers are going to ask. Uh, quite honestly, if you're buying equipment, I think you would rather buy equipment from someone that's experienced using it other than someone that just builds it because they own a machine shop. Okay? Um, there's uh, probably eight of us selling equipment. I guarantee you, most of us aren't doing oil. Okay? Um, show you a couple of things of what we have. This is our veg oil blend. Right now I'm running this in a 90, 94 Dodge Cummins. I was doing a motor oil blend, but I've got so much vegetable oil. Uh, vegetable oil has a shelf life, so I'm going to go. I uh, figured I might as well just start blending that. Um, I'm in the process of converting the truck over to run on straight vegetable oil. That's what we have here. Uh, this goes in my wife's 2001 VW Beetle. It used to go in my 82 VW truck. Um, sold that, bought an 82 VW Vanagon. You'll see the Vanagon and the truck pictures. Okay, I'm gonna have, like I said, I'll have the truck converted. I'll have the pictures up on our WBO conversion site. Right here is my unit, okay? I run a 120 gallon per hour unit on a 55 gallon drum. I can clean the oil and I can dry the oil. This is not complicated, people, seriously. A uh, little bit of a learning curve when you start, probably two or three drums worth. And after that, it, this is simple, okay? I use a tarp, it's a 20 foot by 20 foot tarp. Fold it down to like a three by three square. I kind of cup out the bung holes so that I'll get evaporation. Um, when I want to check and see if my oil's dry, put my glasses down under the bung hole, put them on. If they're fogged up, I know I'm still evaporating moisture. If you don't own glasses, all you have to do is get a mirror, okay? For those of you that think we just do it the hilly, hillbilly way, uh, we also test with the Sandy Bray water tester, okay? I get my oil to where it consistently passes at like 300 parts per million. It's on the first sheet. I'm usually right in between three and four. Okay, 300 parts per million, that's pretty dry. Um, this is my heated settling drum. This was something we picked up at Biodiesel Clash years ago. Um, water's a killer to biodiesel. Okay, so they kind of taught us, put it in the tank, heat it up to 180, let it sit, turn the heat off, let it sit for 10 to 12 hours. We drain off what's on the very bottom, you can see um, I'm always draining off and then I move over into the centrifuge drum and centrifuge it. I believe in overkill, okay? Honestly, people, it's free fuel. The trade-off is a little bit of work. When you get up and running and get the experience, you'll realize it's less work than you think. Um, this is my W, my motor oil emulsion, okay? I've had this for five months. Um, there isn't a centrifuge in my possession that has broken this. Okay, I'm beginning to think that when people say their centrifuge will, I don't think they're being very honest. This is our motor oil that I'll centrifuge. Um, over here you'll see our two coats of veg oil. Uh, you'll see our pumps. I have a gas model pump. I have the electric model pump. And then I have this cheap, ugly pump that we use all the time. Okay, it works consistently. It's a good pump. Uh, watch our series, folks. Okay. The toad up top here is our motor oil. Okay. We can gravity flow it. It's just been set up now to gravity flow into the centrifuges. The tote below is our vegetable oil. We're cleaning it, we're centrifuging it, and then with me converting the truck, I want to have a ton of it so I can drive the truck. Like I said, watch our series. There's going to be a lot of videos in this series. And as you see, 
we're introducing our ultimate force centrifuge. It's a direct drive style centrifuge. Um, it's going to cost less than our competitions. It's, it's a good unit. I think you're going to be able to achieve exactly what everybody else is doing um, and not pay as much. So, uh, our series is also going to include something. We got our unit, right? Well, if we were testing units, wouldn't be fair if we didn't invite Simple Center Fusion to the party. Okay? And if we're inviting Simple Center Fusion, come on. Can't leave WVO Designs out of the game. A uh, lot of claims out there. Things that are not true, people. If we're doing them, then I believe we have to invite the big boy. And he is weighty. And that would be... Vildermaxis. So as you see, folks, we've got everybody's centrifuges, including ours, brand new one. We've used everybody's centrifuges. If you notice the oil underneath the table, we took a 55-gallon drum, split it up in two-gallon increments into each drum, so that as we were filling the, the containers, it was throughout the whole drum. We've ran it through every, every one of the centrifuges, numerous times. Some of the information is going to surprise you. Some of the information might be, oh, sorry, might even disappoint you. Okay. Um, watch our series. It's going to be informational. Um, we also have the videos for our direct drive single pass categories. And what we're going to show you there is gravity flow from a tote in the air to a tote in the ground from a drum in the air to a drum on the ground. Also from a drum to a drum using a pump and motor and a frequency drive. Okay, we're not only gonna show you them, we're gonna show you how to hook them up. Okay. Uh, we are a mom and pop shop. If you go to the blogs and forums, you'll see that people talk highly about us. Um, we try to be honest. Uh, our pricing, you can't beat. Um, like I said, folks, this isn't hard. This isn't rocket science. Okay? There are forums out there that are informational. We do not promote books. We don't do our own book that's going to promote our product. Um, we don't do forums uh, that are just going to promote our product. Okay? Our forum library has every forum out there. WVO, WMO, vehicle specific and even Lister Generator, okay? Um, again, we're PA Biodiesel Supply. If you want the information on these units, we're gonna give it to you. I've got the movies. I have to have my uh, video guy, you know, add some text, some mu music, so we don't look like Bobo in a garage, okay? Hey, thanks for watching. Watch the series, you're gonna like it.